Hello, welcome back to Tiny Artist TV. We're going to be continuing our 12 days of D&D December and working on day two now. So let's go ahead and get started with the roll. So as you can see, I've already got my rollers pulled up. And we're going to go ahead and roll our d20 for race, and then roll a d12 for class, and then get right into the drawing. I'm really trying to keep these short, about 10 minutes a piece. I know the last one ran a little wrong, a little, a little long. So our race for today is going to be a halfling. And our class, let's see, a halfling wizard. Okay, so wizard has a couple different rules, as you can see. I have a d8 or a d10 depending on if it's a wizard or a warlock so because it's a wizard we're also going to roll a d8 to get what school of magic they're from. Mm -hmm. I forgot to highlight. Let me go ahead and highlight. Okay so this is going to be a, a 7. Halfling Necromancer. I can dig it. And uh, let's see what their color palette is. Let's see, my color palette is listed over here somewhere. Ooh, that's actually a really good looking one. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you what it is. Um, you'll see it when I start on the drawing, but let's go ahead and get started. So just because I have absolutely no qualms about using the materials that have been given to me, I am actually gonna use a preloaded pose because I think it would be perfect for this. And because of the pose, I'm actually gonna be flipping my canvas. So where am I gonna go? Edit, da 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 Rotate, baby. Okay. Where are you? There we go. Yes. I think this one is perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna make some adjustments and then get started with the character design. Yeah, so I am totally scrapping the idea that I had at first. I actually had completely drawn out the character, the scene, I'd even started coloring and shading it. And then I sat back and looked back at it and was like, ugh, I'm not feeling this. So time to delete the art and start over. <laughs> Sometimes that's just what you have to do. So my initial plan was actually to do a necromancer who was actively raising an army of the dead. There were going to be skeletons and all this wild magic and like I said I had already drawn it out and just really wasn't feeling it especially with the color palette that was assigned for this particular prompt and so um, I rework it into this kind of um, cute but creepy. It's, it's less creepy than you probably would think of a necromancer and the skull is not even a real skull it's this little novelty cup so in my mind um this uh, halfling necromancer is just really into the gothic tm aesthetic um kind of like edgy slash nightcore uh hangs out at graveyards so i don't have their grimoire because I just didn't feel like drawing it. I was more focused on the character than the accessories on this one. Um, as I'm drawing like all the earrings. But I don't know why I thought of this particular pose. But I just thought this pose was a lot more uh, in my wheelhouse for what I wanted this character to be uh, at the end of the day. And I just think it works better. Oh, especially with the color palette, this ends up being a very, um, a very neutral character. Like, necromancy always gets a bad rap, but this character is just out here, living their best life, having a good time, um, relative to what else they could be doing, i.e. raising an army of the dead. So, I just wanted to do this kind of chill character because 
even though I really did like the dynamic pose that I was modeling at first, again, it just, for some reason, it just didn't work out. So that's going to do it for day two of d and December. Um, sorry I didn't do much of a voiceover on this one either, but I hope you at least enjoyed watching the drawing process. Um, as always, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time and have a weird day.